My name is David Davenport. I'm a member of the RF and Photonics Lab here at GE Global Research. I'm an electronic systems engineer. I work primarily on wireless sensor applications and most recently on various medical applications. A critical care patient today receives their monitoring using a bedside device and often a dozen or more wired connections and electrodes. All those wires present many challenges both to the patient as well as the caregiver. The patient has reduced comfort and also reduced mobility with all those wires kind of burdening them and restricting their motion. The patient is also now at risk of infection as those wires have to all be cleaned and sterilized between different patients stay. The caregiver now has many challenges. They have to manage those connections and those wires and the ability for the caregiver to collect the vital signs and parameters of interest is also restricted, especially when the patient is now transported throughout the hospital and those wires have to either be stretched or moved along with the patient. Here at GE, we're working to change the game in patient monitoring by developing medical body sensor networks. By leveraging miniaturization of electronics and wireless technology, we can develop a collection of body sensor networks. And these body-worn devices would measure vital signs such as heart rate, blood pressure, glucose, even posture and motion of a patient. And this can be measured throughout the entire stay of a patient, whether they're in the operating room, the intensive care unit, or elsewhere. And all that provides great benefits to the patient in terms of their comfort, mobility, faster recovery, and also benefits to the caregivers as they can now collect data continuously with very little effort, very little intervention, and also having improved conditions and improved outcomes with less errors for the patient. While the technology exists today to build medical body sensor networks, one challenge remains, and that challenge is wireless interference. When you consider the large number of patients moving about amongst each other in a hospital, as well as moving about wireless computer networks, Bluetooth devices, cell phones, cordless phones, you have to address the potential for all of those wireless signals to interfere with each other. We're very pleased by the FCC's recent release of a notice of proposed rulemaking to allocate dedicated spectrum for medical body area networks. We believe and feel very strongly that that's the last key ingredient needed to realize the benefits of medical body area networks to reduce the cost to deliver healthcare and to improve the quality of healthcare delivered within the U.S.